Hello and welcome to Ellen Ruth's Soap. I'm Ellen and today I am making a floral soap using this fragrance. It's called Peony from Wholesale Supplies Plus and it is such a pretty floral. Um, and florals can notorious, they can be notorious for misbehaving in soap and this one had pretty decent reviews. A lot of people said that they didn't have trouble with acceleration so I'm hoping that's the case today. Um, it, the, it says that it can discolor to yellow. I may add a little titanium dioxide in there to abate that because I'm thinking of peony blossoms which are just scrumptious. They're, oh, peonies are gorgeous. Uh, for the color, so I'm getting segued off on how pretty peonies are. Um, I want to use this uh, French silk stocking mica because it is such a gentle, pretty blush color. Um, and so that will be my only color swirl in there. And I want to pipe some flowers on top using my Wilton 1M tip um, and just load the top up with rosettes and oh man, just beautiful floral i think of like you know summer wedding or it just they're beautiful anyway that's what i'm doing today with the fragrance this is going to be a goat milk soap and i will do the milk and oil method i'm going to get everything pulled together get my piping bag set up and uh, let's make some really beautiful floral peony inspired soap it's time to add the additives to my oils here and butters. This has cocoa butter and shea butter and oh, it's such goodness. And I'm making kind of a big batch here today um, because I am gonna do some piping on top and I still don't have my measuring down so I usually pull off too much piping and then I have short bars so I'm making a bigger batch so that I don't want short bars. I want nice big full size bars. So anyway, big batch of soap today. I've got my goat milk here. So I'm gonna do the milk and oil. And what I've done, I do a steep discount on water. Let me just so, um, but you always want to make sure that whatever amount of sodium hydroxide you're using, you need at least that much liquid to mix with it. You never want less liquid than lye. Always equal or more. And I usually go a little above. So if it's 10 ounces of lye, I'll do 11 ounces of water. I just always like to err on the side of caution. So that is how I water discount for my goat milk to go in the oils. All that being said, here are my dry ingredients, kale and clay, and my colloidal oats. And let me tell you, I um, after I did the intro and I was getting all my stuff out and getting ready to roll here, I went back and looked, because I know I've worked with this fragrance before, and looked at the reviews, and um, a lot of the reviewers said that the scent faded. And last year I made this soap, or very similar to this soap, and I added a little um, peach, a uh, sugared peach fragrance to the peonies because the peony fragrance does have a little fruit back note in it, in it. So that's what I did today. I have my peony fragrance and a little bit of peach fragrance in here to hopefully give it a little staying power um, because a lot of the reviewers complained that after the um, cure time, the fragrance had faded. And I remember last year, my fragrance did not fade. I was very happy with it. So I did the same uh, ratio this year. So the peony mixed with just a little touch of peach fragrance to kind of kick it up a notch. So I'm going to get this blended in here and then we will come back and get rolling on making soap. All right, I'm ready to add the lye solution in here. First, I wanted to show you real quick the uh, piping tips. I've got my little star tip to do the rosettes, my little mock peonies on top, and then I have just a little open hole um, that I might use some dollops to fill in any blanks on there. So that is my piping set all ready to go. Um, and so what I've got going on here is my lye water, which has tussa silk fibers, sodium lactate, and cane sugar. And I did add about a half a teaspoon of titanium dioxide, and I blended it in there really well because um, the peach fragrance discolors and the peony fragrance is supposed to discolor a little. And I just want this all on the lighter side. Just, you know, peonies to me look very just sort of muted and just Oh, gorgeous. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to hand stir this to emulsion and then we will split off and get the color in and then I will add the fragrance. Um, because this uh, peony fragrance had some mixed reviews. Some people loved it. Some people said the fragrance 
uh, faded and some people said it accelerated so I'm just going to proceed with caution here it's been a year since I made this and my memory isn't that great I looked back at my notes and it said that it behaved well <laughs> I do take really copious notes every time I make a soap I make little notes on how fast it traced and how I you know did I like it did I like the um, cured fragrance after the end and stuff like that. I think it's really good to keep in the date that I made it and all that. I think it's really good to keep a notebook of your batches of soap. Um, I've had customers come back to me, you know, I had this soap and it was three years old and I can't remember. So I flip back in my book. If I can get an approximate date, I can usually go back and find it and go, oh yeah, okay, that's what I did. <laughs> so having a notebook, um, just a log and by the year, it just helps. So that's a suggestion. If you're a soaper, take notes, keep a little diary of soaping, and um, I think it's really helpful. And, you know, recipes that you love, you'll start to notice that you'll use one recipe more than another, and then that becomes like your signature recipe. That what happened for me. I uh, had several recipes that I would rotate through, and I just kept migrating to this one recipe, and that turned out to be, this is years ago, but that turned out to just be my go-to, you know, recipe. So I got emulsion. I'm going to split off here a nice amount for that blush color, French silk stockings. It is so pretty. Just kind of reminds me of a country garden or an English garden. All right, there is that. I'm going to pull this out now so I can get my stick blender going in here. And I will probably add a little more titanium dioxide to the uncolored portion. But let's get this in. This baby spoon is tiny, so nice heaping spoons here. I want good color on this. And I'm just going to add a little bit more because there's already TD in there, but just a little. And I will stick blend lightly and then I will add the fragrance.
it's the next day and let me tell you what happened last night so uh i don't know if you can pick that up but there is a crack this started to overheat on me um what i have been doing <laughs> okay let me back up this is a combination of things that happens when that happens i um Number one is we're coming into warmer weather here in Tennessee, and so my basement or my soap studio is not quite as cold as it was this winter. So the blanket that I put over was probably too aggressive. Also, some fragrances um, can just heat more than others. So anyway, I got a crack, and I'm glad I came down and spotted that. So I quick threw it in the ref uh, not the ref yeah I threw it in the refrigerator overnight and stopped. So I'm hoping it completed the gel phase, but there is. Let me see, uh, can you see the crack? Anyway, it cracked, but right on the corner of the flower, so I, it's no big deal, but if I had left this and I hadn't checked on it, it probably would have mounded up and cracked even more. So, caught it in time. <laughs> but that's, you know, even for, you know, an experienced soaper, you just, things happen. So, I'm glad I checked on it. Let's get in here and see how that turned out. By the way, isn't that blush color that french silk stockings isn't that gorgeous love it so it smells good today smelling really good in here i think that little bit of peach added in here that sugary it's just i'm calling this sugared peony and i just think it's fabulous so anxious to see that hanger swirl let's get in here Time to cut loaves on my lovely Olga. This is just such a pretty cutter. I gotta tell you, it was a fun investment to make and I'm so glad I got one. Multi-bar cutters are awesome. All right, let me get this lined up. And uh, I, uh, I was looking back at my notes again, you know, because I made this last year and the fragrance did hold. This is smelling absolutely fantastic today. So I think that that peony fragrance, if you put a little anchor in there, um, it's going to be fine, just personally. Ooh, these swirls. Okay. Let's, oh, they stick together a little bit. There we go. Still a little bit of a learning curve. All right, I'm loving the top, and just that little bit of glitter makes it look sugared or frosted, if you will. And let's see here. Oh, I've got a titanium dioxide dot. Kind of looks like eyeballs. <laughs> That's hilarious. Okay, I need to mix my TD better. This was probably from the TD that I put in the lye water. Um, the stuff that's in my little shaker bottle with the marbles doesn't ever do that. But so that is my bad. But you know what? That's cute. All right, let's keep going here. Let's see our next two. So... Anyway, yeah, the overheating surprised me. When I came down and saw it, I was like, oh my. And I need to get in summer mode down here. Oh, that's pretty. And I'm just loving that color. Uh, I did go through gel phase. I'm not seeing any gel ring here. So I think the whole thing did go through gel phase. And I'm not seeing a discoloration ring. So I think it'll probably just stay this really pretty creamy color, which I think just really accents that blush. So I'm pretty tickled with these. So I tend to um, not migrate towards florals, but I've had several customers ask me for florals, which is why I um, went ahead and got this. And I'm glad I did. Oh, these are beautiful. And this is evoking very, like really spring gardens, just beautiful.
actually been a couple of days since I cut these. I got really busy and I didn't have time to come in and clean them up, but I just wanted to give an update on the coloring. It's just that beautiful cream and it's stable, so that's the end color, and these smell fantastic. I don't find that this fragrance has faded on me. Uh, maybe it was the addition of the sugared peach in there. They smell fabulous, so I'm very, very pleased with these. And uh, So I'm coming into this a little late, but here we go. I'm just going to get these cleaned and stamped up, and I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful day.